First, I'm going to prep my skin with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the lavender one. I've really been liking this, like, a lot. And then I'm going to go in with Skin & Co Boosting Anti-Age Serum. So, I actually just received this from Ulta. It came with my Cherry Palette. So, I'm going to give this a go. Why not? You know, we're going to have to moisturize anyway. So, I figured I would try it out. It feels empty. Oh my god, there's like nothing in it. Are you? I'm like squeezing this right now and there's nothing coming out. There's literally like, look at that. I just, you saw me just open that up and it's like gone. Okay. You know what? I can't complain because, so what I happy was I ordered the cherry palette and um, it came and one of the eyeshadows was smashed and so I called Ulta because, yeah, you can go online and find information, but, like, I wasn't finding the exact answers, and I just like to call. Just to be able to talk to someone, I feel like it's so much easier. I'm literally not getting anything. Look, you can see. Oh, oh my God. Anyway, I called to see if I could get, um, do an exchange. Because so I obviously still wanted the palette, but one of them was smashed. And she literally sent me a brand new one. So now I have two cherry palettes. Like, that's amazing. That is the best customer service ever. Like, that's some good karma in store for me or something. Um, sorry if I keep, like, looking a different way. I'm hoping I don't look super washed out. So, I just got a new ring light. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that. And I'm trying to figure out the lighting situation with my camera. So, it's going to be trial and error. So, work with me. Let me know below if this is, like, too bright or not. I won't really know until I start editing it. But let me know um, if, how, how the lighting is because I'm so excited I finally got one. I can't figure out how to link stuff on Instagram. Like, on your Instagram story, I don't know how you link anything. Um, I don't have that little paperclip link button. So I screenshotted it. I got it off Amazon and it was like half the price of a normal ring light. So I figured it was a good way to like try it out. Um, so I just prepped my skin with the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. This I got in my FabFitFun box. It's amazing. I love it. Um, also in that video, I said something about it being a new Murad product and it wasn't. They just changed the packaging. Today, as you saw from my title, I am going to try out the Naked Urban Decay Cherry palette, I actually, I can't really say try out because I did already try it out like a couple times. I love the packaging so much. It's like their typical Urban Decay packaging. I like that it's kind of see-through and it's all the pinks. I love the idea of the cherry and having pink shades. Um, the Heat is definitely my number one favorite eyeshadow palette from all of them. I mean, even if you don't I like use the Urban Decay palettes, I feel like they're always just collector items and I love these shades. It's all like pinky, violety shades and I just think they are so pretty. I love that there's a ton of matte because I use mainly matte eyeshadows. Um, so I love that there's a lot of matte. There's a nude color called Caution which is a really good transition color. The only downfall I would say of this palette personally is that this light one here, Hot Spot, this looks like a brow bone um, shade but it's not um, it doesn't have any like shimmer in it. And normally I like to highlight my brows with a shimmer or my inner corner so it's more of a matte brow bone highlight but it's beautiful I can't even complain really like I'm so excited for this so I have my skin nice and prepped I'm gonna put my hair up now don't mind I just got out of the shower and I like to do my makeup first before my hair I just got done doing wedding makeup so I'm gonna be kind of like taking makeup from my kit sometimes I use my personal makeup in my kit just because there's like certain things I really like so okay so here's I always bring the heat palette because it's amazing um here's the broken one it's literally only one eyeshadow that's broken but um, I got a brand new palette, so I'm gonna leave this in my kit, so that way I have it and don't need to bring mine back and forth. What was I even looking for? Oh. Here it is. I'm gonna start by prepping my skin with the MAC Strobe Cream, and this is in the shade Peach Light. I have been loving this on all skin tones. I've been using it on myself, and I'm more like olive skin toned, but I've been using it also on clients that are more pale and like pink undertoned, and it looks really, really pretty, I feel like, on all skin. I just use it as a primer, but it's very moisturizing, and it gives a really pretty glow. And from like certain angles, you'll see the like peachy, um, shimmer kind of too. I don't want to say shimmer because it's not like it's like glittery or anything. It's just so pretty and it feels so good on the skin and I feel like my foundation lays on it really really well. So I've been using this as a primer and then sometimes I'll use my Benefit Professionals on top in certain spots that I um, have like bigger pores like on my cheeks. Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal 
foundation and this is in the shade 204. I've been really liking this one lately. It's like all I use. It's been laying on my skin really well. It's not been drying or giving me like weird dry patches or anything like that. So I just put a little bit of this on my cheeks, forehead, wherever, and then I'm going to rub it in. I hope that like this is showing up. I hope this lighting is not a total fail. And then I'm just using my Tarte brush to really get everything. I love this brush for foundation. I've probably talked about it before. It's like the only one I ever use. I've tried to use different ones and I always go back to this one. Um, Cause it just like blends everything in so fast. I'm gonna go wet my booty blender. I actually got this beauty blender in the FabFitFun fall box, which I'm working on the video right now. By the time I post this video, this tutorial, I'll probably have the um, unboxing up for you, but I was so surprised to get a beauty blender in the box. I thought that was really cool. And I have like a bunch of old ones. So I was excited to finally be able to throw them out because for some reason I was like really holding on to them. So I was happy to be able to get rid of them and not feel bad about it because I had another one to use. So I'm just going to Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade Light Neutral and then I go in with Tan, which is really, really dark. So I only use a tiny, tiny bit of this just on top of this to kind of like balance the two out because the one's really light and this one's really dark. I don't have any shades like in between right now. So we're working with what I got. When I do tutorials or videos, I yell and I don't know why. I'm just always yelling and I get out of breath and I get hype and I need to just like slow down. So you want to focus your concealer right under the eyes and um, in like your t-zone you don't want to put concealer anywhere on the outside That's why we put bronzer on the outside of your face So that way it looks brighter like if you're looking up at a light you want the center of your face to be the lightest so that's why we do concealer In the center of our face. I also like that this beauty blender has like the pointy part to it So if you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know that the Mikasa beauty sponge the lemon drop sponge has been my favorite and it completely replaced my beauty blender for a while um, until I got this one and because I really like that you can just get up in the corners with the point um, and I can't do that with my other sponge. I get asked a lot if you should do face first or like your face makeup or your eye makeup and it really doesn't matter except for if you're doing like a deep smoky eye you want to do your eyeshadow on the top lid first because then if you get a lot of fallout you're able to wipe it all away without taking off all of your face makeup but today this palette's not like super dark so i'm just gonna do my face first get a good base and then that way i can go in with the eyeshadow now i do i can tell you now after dipping into the palette a little bit that it does have a lot of fallout like I know with the heat palette, I would have to like really dip my brush in there a lot to get like um, the color really noticeable. And I went to do that when I first got this one and totally didn't need to do that. Like it's really pigmented. You don't need to, um, but there's, when you dip your brush in, it gets a lot of powder out. So don't, don't go in with a heavy hand with this palette. I'm going to set the concealer with my uh, Marc Jacobs palette and I'm going to use the yellow powder in there and I just use like a little Real Techniques brush to get up in there. I've been noticing these brushes. Does anyone else's get like sticky on the like black part at the bottom? Cause mine's been doing that and it's really gross. So I'm just gonna press this into the skin and you need to really make sure you're getting your powder and your concealer like really close to your lower lash line when you do this. And I like using a yellow a yellowy shade under my eye because I feel like it just kind of cancels out more of those dark circles. Total personal preference, but that's what I like to do. Then I'm going to set it with a little bit of Urban Decay's Velvet Tizer. This is the most finely milled face powder in the entire world. It's amazing. If you have oily skin, like I don't have oily skin at all. I have dry skin, but I still like to set my foundations. And this has been the best one I've found. And if you do have oily skin, I find that it works really well on oily skin by keeping it um, from like oil or shine or anything like that coming through. My Too Faced Bronzer. This is my go-to, the Chocolate Soleil. And I go in with like an old MAC brush. I just have been using this one forever to bronze. 
and I focus right below the cheekbones for this. Now, I'm not really, when I bronze, I'm not really focusing on contouring. I go in with a separate bronzer to do that. This is just to kind of warm up the face um, around the outside of it. Caitlin's calling me. Hello? Where are you going? Um, we're going to like a happy hour. Say hi. No, dude. Did you get a new camera? No. I have it on a stand. Oh. Yeah, I don't use it either. That's why he gave me this one, because I wanted one with a viewfinder. Now I'm going in with the MAC Blunt Blush. Um, technically, it's a blush, but it's really deep. Again, if you've been watching my channel, like I stick to staples when I do my makeup, especially if it's something like, um, like face makeup. I feel like I just... I don't know, I need to branch out more, but for the most part, I stick to a lot of what I just always used. Um, and I find this a really good contour shade. So when you contour, you wanna focus on um, under the cheekbones, your temples. I have a big forehead, so I do like up here to connect everything and then connect everything at the jawline. And then sometimes if I feel like, you know, my concealer's a little light, I'll just kind of go through and like dust the rest on the rest of my face. but. Don't add more bronzer in the center of your face for the love of baby Jesus. Don't do that. Right, guys, I have to vent right now about this um, Milani highlighter in the shade 02 Day Glow. Beautiful. I actually used, I've been using this every day, first of all, but I've been using it in place of my um, Ambrisi one, and it's been like better. Oh my gosh, like it's crazy. I showed you guys in a video a while ago that I got this new Real Techniques um, brush and I've been using this for my highlighter because I found that my other one is a little bit too big and it was getting like all over my face and I really wanted a brush to kind of focus in the smaller areas for the highlight. So I'm just gonna put this right, look at that. Oh my God. And I literally, it's Milani. I think I got this at like CVS. It's insane. And I don't usually, like on a daily basis, use the Fix Plus with it. It's bow. And we'll dust a little bit up here. I to go in with my blush after that because it kind of blends like the, I think the contour and the highlighter together. I've been doing a weird combo of blush, but I've been really liking it. So I use the NARS blush in <clears throat> Madly, which is really like a nude. If you don't like blush or you're scared to try a darker blush or like a really pink blush, I would suggest doing this because I never used to be into blush. I wanted something pretty neutral. And this is a really good one to just kind of warm up the cheeks, but it's not like super pink or anything. Like I think it's just really pretty. Um, so I've been using that. Then I go in with the Milani blush in number one Dulce Pink, just cause I think it adds a little bit more of like a shimmer and a pink to it. It's really, really pretty. So I'll usually just dust a little bit of this on top. Remember blush is the first thing to fade when you do makeup, so go a little bit heavier on it so that way it fades throughout the day. I'm gonna go into the eyes now. As always, I'm gonna prep my eyelid. Sorry, I feel like I'm like all over the place, not even like looking at you guys or anything. I'm gonna go in with my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and just a big fluffy brush and put this all over the lid. And this is really good to just eliminate any veins or um, I feel like my lids are kind of like blue. I guess it's from the veins. I don't know how to describe it, but this is just a good color to kind of even everything out. A lot of people use soft ochre too, but I found that that was a little bit too dark for me. It was like really olive toned. In the in the winter, I get really pale. So I found that it was a little too dark, um, but I would like, that was a long time ago that I looked at that. So I would like to go back to MAC and see it again. I look like a naked mole rat with no eye makeup on and my face done. Like this video if you agree. I'm going to try and use the brush. Um, I'm never a big fan of the brushes that come in like any eyeshadow palettes, but I'm going to try it because this looks like a really good brush for underneath the lower lash line. And then this one, yeah, I don't think this one I'm going to like too much, but it's a little too stiff, but we'll try it. I'm going to go in with Caution first, and this is that nice um, nude transition matte shade. I'm just going to press this all over the eyeshadow base that I just put down to so just set it with a eyeshadow so it's not too 
sticky. We're gonna go in with feels with a Z. Alright. And this is like another, this is a matte pinky shade. And I always start my colors on the outside and then bring it up into the crease and really blend it because you want the darkest of color to be on the outside of your eye. So that's usually where I just put the brush down first. And this is actually kind of nice for this because it really gets up in that crease really well. I've been posting a lot of cleaning videos. I don't know why, but I've been really into cleaning videos lately. I don't, I think like it's just giving me more motivation and I find it just like soothing. And I love being able to see other people's houses. Like I love decorating and I love seeing how other people decorate their house and design their house and everything. And like, I think that's another reason why I like the cleaning videos, but does anyone else do that? Or am I just like weird? I mean, I can't be the only one if all these people are making them. I feel like on camera, it's not really looking that blended, but I promise you it is like up here. Um, but I'm gonna go in with more eyeshadow, but I really just wanted to get a good base all over of that light pink color. Now I'm gonna go in with Devilish and this is another, it's like a deeper wine color. And I'm gonna focus this one kind of in the same spot, but not blend it out as much. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I don't, I, I'm, I don't know. I can't get into this brush. I liked it at first, but I think that's why I'm not liking how my eyeshadow doesn't look blended out. And I think it's because of the brush. Oh my God, this color is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my typical brush that I go in with. <laughs> So this is a Japanese brush, 836, and I'm just gonna, I really didn't add any more product, I'm just gonna blend it out. This one's a little bit more fluffy, it's not as stiff, so you're able to, yeah, already it's like blending out a lot more. What's new with me? So I just got done a long-term subposition at a new school district than what I was working in. And that was fun. I liked it so much more than I thought I was going to. I mean, not that I didn't think I was going to like it, but I just didn't really know what to expect being in a new school district than the one that I went to and grew up in and then worked in for two years. So it was really great. Everybody was so nice and it was a great time. Apparently, when we had back to school night, one of the parents said that they recognized my voice because their daughter watches my videos. And I was like, that's so cool, but so creepy. I'm gonna go in with a little pencil brush and devilish, and which is that same color. And I'm just adding a little bit more, but I just wanna focus on the outside V here. So that's why I'm just kind of going in with a smaller brush because you can really focus more in that smaller area with it. I feel like it's not really blending out for me right now. I don't know why, but we'll figure it out. And then I'm gonna go in with Privacy. This is the darkest color at the end of the palette. And it's kind of like a, I don't know. It's a really pretty matte brown, but it's really deep. It's really pretty. So I'm just focusing that right on this outer V and going into my crease. I'm gonna go in with Ambitious, and this is like in the middle of the palette. Whoa, I did not need to dip in that much. Oh, it's like not that pigmented. How awkward was that? Just that position right there. Dang, look at that fallout. All right, well, um, that sucks. That's good, that came right off. Sephora brush, 73 crease shadow, and I like to just go in with um, a color that's a little bit lighter and kind of blend the Trans, like kind of make it as a transition so it's not, you don't have that harsh line. That was the worst explanation ever. Now I'm gonna go in with a MAC 212 brush and this is just like a really um, thin line and I'm gonna go in with Devilish, that deep matte red. And I'm gonna focus right on this lower lash line. So nice out today. It was like really windy, but it was like so nice. I'll go in with the brush that came with the palette. This is like the pencilier side. And I'm gonna go in with feels. Going in with a pencil brush after you just made that harsh line to really blend out what you did and kind of smoke out that bottom. I think I'm gonna skip the eyeliner on the top and just do a little bit on the bottom. And with the color Stag, this is an Urban Decay 24-7 uh, pencil liner. I'm just gonna stick this on the waterline. I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm only gonna go to about half 
What's your guys' favorite social media app? Like mine's Instagram, but some people love Snapchat. And I feel like ever since they updated it, like it was a while ago, but I feel like ever since, you know what I'm talking about. It just like went downhill and nobody liked it anymore. I just, I love Instagram. I love Twitter when I need like a good laugh. And the mascara I just used was the MAC Extended Play Lash. I love it for underneath of my like lower lash line because you saw how small the brush was. This is the Clinique one, um, Chubby Lash. I don't know how I feel about it. Not like a huge fan. I mean, it's not the worst mascara, but it's definitely not my favorite. Gonna go in with the NYX, uh, uh, micro brow pencil in the color blonde. And I like to just start off by tracing my brows. Although sometimes you have to like push down so hard on this that it like rips brows out, so that's good. I don't think this is the color I had before. I think I had the color taupe. This one looks way too like blonde. Look at this, like I am pushing so hard. Like no wonder I don't have brows. This is all I do with that is just to kind of give myself a basic shape. And then I go in with the ABH um, dip brow in soft brown. And this can be really dark, but lighten it up with like a mascara wand. I need a good eyebrow brush. If you know any good eyebrow brushes, let me know. This is a NYX one. Everything's worn off on it. It's like the only one that I've found that the bristles don't start flaring out like the more you wash it and stuff. I don't know. It's just tiny and I like it. I don't ever add extra product to the front of my brows. I just find that I have enough hair there that's not really where I need it and I don't want it to be squared off. I just buy these off of Amazon. They're really, really cheap because I use them in my makeup kit for mascara, but then I also use them when for when you brush out your brows because... Hello? Right now I'm freaked out. I'm just highlighting underneath the brows with this and then I'll go through and do my inner corner. The ABH lipstick in Crush. Set it with my all-nighter setting spray. All right, guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, and don't forget to subscribe, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And by you giving it a thumbs up, I will know to make more tutorials for you. This eyeshadow palette is definitely a good one to have. Um, I think even if you don't normally wear pink eyeshadows, like I never wear pink eyeshadows, but this is just such a beautiful palette and I think that it would look good on any skin tone or any color eyes. It's such a collector's item, but Urban TK eyeshadows are definitely my favorite and I'm obsessed with this palette already. I've been wearing it every single day. I really like the way that this look turned out, so let me know down below if you liked it so I can make more. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.